Jeremy Clarkson has been embroiled in controversy following comments he made about Meghan Markle in a recent column but has since apologized. The Clarkson's farm star, who has been in a relationship with Lisa Hogan for the past six years, admitted she yelled at him when enjoying some downtime. The 62-year-old spoke candidly in his latest column as the presenter admitted he may struggle if ever decided to retire from the television industry. The former Top Gear presenter shared he could not see himself not keeping busy despite retirement age creeping up. The Who Wants to Be a Millionaire host does not see the fun in watching a morning show about the value of junk in your attic after he recently took a break from his work duties. Writing in his latest column for The Times, Jeremy shared, In my mind, he'd spend the entire time taking part in the RSBB Big Garden Bird Watch. He'd sit at the window, counting the number of birds coming to my feeders. He went on, so I gave up and started to assemble the air fryer my daughter gave me for Christmas. I even read the instruction manual, and after just 40 minutes I was sitting down to enjoy the best roast potatoes I've ever made. But then I was full. So I put the air fryer back in the cupboard and went for a walk. And pretty soon my back hurt, so I came home again. And then I watched Pointless. And then the BBC 6 o'clock news, where I learned that all Tories are BDS. And then I spent the rest of the evening flicking my way through all the Netflix options until Lisa yelled at me for making endless beeping noises. So I went to bed with a sense of is that it? And, because my mind was neither fat nor lazy, a plan. Jeremy suggested the government pay 20-somethings a retirement wage because that is when people want the cash, when they are young and able-bodied, not years later when struggling to find your spectacles the host surmised. He added, it's this, why doesn't the government pay us a state pension for 10 years after we leave school, and then we have to carry on working until we drop dead. The broadcaster said there is not much point in spending the money at the end of your life if your organ is broken. Jeremy admitted he had no intention of slowing down anytime soon to go and play golf all day, adding that would be a daft decision. Piers Morgan uncovers reason for health woes after ongoing symptoms latest a place in the Sun presenter Jasmine Harman hit with sad news admission first dates Merlin Griffiths leaves hospital amid cancer update health, his comments come after he recently issued an apology to Meghan over comments he made about her in his column for the Sun. The broadcaster said he is profoundly sorry over a number of disparaging remarks and shared a lengthy statement on Instagram. He wrote, I really am sorry. All the way from the balls of my feet to the follicles on my head. This is me putting my hands up. It's a mea culpa with bells on. It comes after reports Jeremy will no longer be starring in the Grand Tour or Clarkson's Farm. Amazon has made no official comment, but has briefed that it will honor current commitments, Clarkson's Farm and Grand Tour, but will not be working with him after that. In December in which he talked about hating Meghan at a cellular level and suggested she be subjected to a Game of Thrones walk of shame. In total, Ipso said it had received more than 17,500 complaints as of 9 a.m. on Tuesday, rising to 20,800 by 5 p.m. The reaction surpassed the total number of complaints the media regulator received in 2021 to 14,355. However, it has since been reported Jeremy will be back for a new series of ITV's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire.